we're continuing the Battle Pass skin review series, moving on to Lieutenant John Llama, traded by Pulso Draws over on Twitter. We have Outfit, Back Bling, Tool. We have the Glider, which I've used in game. I haven't used um, any other cosmetics in game. This might visually unequip, um, although it's not to scale with the Harvesting Tool. It might, we will see. And then we have the Weapon Wrap, the Loose Cannon. I will do Back Bling combos for both styles, gameplay of both styles and games. With that being said, let's get sweaty. So right away, you're probably going to notice that the back bling does have the visually unequipping with the tool in hand, which is cool. It's not to scale, but it's still a really cool idea. I'm glad like they're doing this here and there. I don't think they're overdoing it yet, but regardless, it's a nice little detail there with the back bling. Um, not bad, not bad. I love the glider. The glider's so good. Really have a monster truck for a glider. So good. I thought maybe um, the tires would have been moving when you're thrusting. They don't, but you do have like exhaust and a lot of cool effects there. Nice pink streak. Sounds okay. But the visually and equipping is great. Impact is not pink, it is basic to my knowledge here without hitting weak points. ADS is a little bulky. The wrap looks good though. Looks really good. We have some very interesting combos. It's a very difficult color scheme to really pinpoint on a vast majority of outfits. But regardless, we're gonna show you the wrap and the show your style stuff and then we'll do combos. Okay, so the wrap looks okay on a bigger scale. I like it more on the coat than I do the back bling. Looks great on the tool though. Looks really cool on the tool, I like that. All right, combo time, baby. So I have quite a bit of back blings you can wear on Lieutenant John Llama's original style. The back bling, mm, not so much. We have some pretty fun ones here. Um, I was trying to lean more towards a tactical theme. Obviously we have color schemes here. I did a pink and a blue on that one. Um, it, it was close. Skirmish looks pretty good with the white bandages on the wrists of Lieutenant John Llama. This is the second edit style. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Um, not terrible. Again, you can have the some some white cosmetics with the bandages on the actually the neck. I didn't realize around the neck and the actual uh, the wrists. It's a fun theme color scheme. Not so much there, but still pretty cool. It's purple. Gordo's pretty good. I know this is a little darker purple um, because of the gradient compared to like the boots and the actual satchels on the thighs there. But I think it still works, and this kind of works with the blue jeans as well. I did, I tried to stretch the blue jeans color. I love the bandages here. Um, color scheme, not so much there, but with the bandages, it's pretty cool. Blast radius, love it. This was close with the blue jeans. We have a purple to a, almost a blue jean gradient. It's a little more saturated on the back bling, but pretty close. This is cool. Nice little theme there for sure with that pink. Not bad. I like it. Lieutenant John Llama's got some trophies, I'm telling you. That's what it came with. Unicorn flakes, sure, why not? Um, plasmatic gear looks pretty cool. This one's not bad. It's not bad. Um, a really fun theme. Color scheme, not, not so much, but still. Obviously, story style back bling. Um, cheery time. This is the blue edit style. It kind of works. Not terrible there. The bubble blast and the contender. I like contender. It's tactical. The purple is a little off on the straps and the legs, etc. But it's a really fun theme. It's a tactical llama. So what's not to like about that combo? Uh, moving on to what you can wear the back bling with. We're stretching. We're stretching. It's not very um, unforgiving at all. Um, fly trap. Um, it's it's weird. I try. Uh, you, you can kind of get away with red, white, and blue color schemes here. It's more of a pinkish red, I will admit, but it's kind of close at first glance. This is 10 out of 10. It looks so good on both skins from this set. That looks really good. I think you could get away with it on the Texans and the Patriots here um, Slightly. Yeah, yeah, it's it's almost there. Maybe not on this style But this color scheme with that blue and red now, like I said, it's more of a reddish pink But it still kind of works Um, caster it kind of works as well The blues a little darker, but that pinkish red kind of goes well with the jacket trog. It's kind of fun It's got the colors we need the blue slightly off, but it's fun. This is this is perfect This is perfect all right, here it is right here. It's so good. And that, that was a fun find for sure. Sky, eh, it's close. It's not, it's not great. Uh, amazing. This one's amazing. 
They're very, very good on those. And there's not a lot that matches those anyway, so that's great. This one it came with, obviously, show your style here with the wrap on it. Uh, doesn't look great with that back blade, not gonna lie. Um, heist with the additional style looks pretty damn cool. We have Bullseye. I'm fighting a sneeze right now. We have Bullseye. <laughs> we have Hayseed as well. Kind of close. Bullseye, yeah, the blue is darker, but I still kind of like it with that pinkish purple or the pinkish red colors on the outfit. So yeah, not bad. Hayseed, eh, it's close with the overalls and the shirt. And Star Spangled Ranger, honestly, favorite ones here. Really damn good. Uh, both skins from this set. And then obviously, um, amazing. Looks really good. So this is the Special Forces edit style. And for the wrap, I'm using Sigil Red. What I like about Sigil Red is it's like a metallic red and silver. And if you look at the actual um, harvesting tool that's on the back wing, it is a glossy like metal on the tool as well. It's got some shine to it. We don't have... Mm, I was thinking maybe you would have had like a red streak on this one. Looks like a pretty default color on the streak it just looks like air <laughs> but regardless very easy close scheme here to find combos with so let's do that now i'm gonna tell you right away backup plan is my favorite back bling it's perfect it's expected didn't ask it's very cool though um so yeah red white and black very common color scheme here we do have the opportunity to use you know a back bling here or there that might be too bulky to put on a normal character model this is the best one in my personal opinion, we got the camo pattern. It's tactical. We've got the red and white as well. Very cool. Now I have 20% corrupted on this. It's more of an orange, orangish red, but I do like the vibe. Very cool here. Blast radius. Do you love to see it? Subjugator, one of those bulky backlings I was talking about. Now I'm choosing to add more red with my combos. Although I do have a lot of black and gray and white just because of the, the eye patch there. We have a lot of black and gray already. So this is still going to look clean. But I think to balance it a little better, a little bit more red would be the way to go. Protocol pack, I have a brick red, white, and white, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I did there. Um, Eternal Shield, the very base model, no interesting, you know, super level on. I just wanted that little bit of red on the actual gym on there. That looks pretty clean and very small. It's kind of funny. Cuddly Bones, Gaze Backling, haven't used it in a while. Love that backling. Lane Splitter, that's what it came with. Easy reach, simple, compact, love it. Scarlet Satchel, I was gonna do the all red, but I do like the accents of red. It just makes it, I don't know. It doesn't make it super obvious and I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, with the back fling here, pretty much same thing. Average color scheme, Black Manta. Ant-Man, I like it on Ant-Man for sure. Eternal Knight, I don't know why she needs shotgun shells, but she has them now, you know what I mean? Um, Havoc, obviously love to see it. Ronin, without the gold on his, you know, his uh, his additional body style, I think you can get away with it. Even though you do have the gold from the shotgun shells here too. I know a lot of people don't like the helmet. I think it looks cool. That's just me. Vendetta, pretty average here. We got white and secondary red here. I didn't have the blue flames on it. Just chose not to do that. Just to keep it all in the same color scheme there. Um, Polar Patroller, it's fun. He's tactical. He's got shotgun shells. He's got red on him. He's got gray and white, so that's cool. But it came with. We have Growler. Love it. Burnout. Very cool. Um, Atlanta Falcons. I like it. I don't really like it too much on their red jersey here. Although it still looks clean, I kind of like it with the whites because it really contrasts, like huge contrast on that one. Um, Canada Alpine Ace and or Mogul Master. Let me talk to your manager. Right there. Looks cool. <laughs> Takara. Not bad. Um, Game Night from Balenciaga. I think it kind of works with that metallic metal. This is the base style. Once you go here, you kind of have all black. So I think it gives you a little bit of play with the blade color, etc. Um, hey, Carve. It kind of works in a way. It's a little aggressive, but not bad. Showdown, all the colors we're looking for. And last but not least, one of my favorites, Paradigm with the white color scheme. Overall, Lieutenant John Llama. It's fun. It's an aggressive llama. I will say that. Regardless, still had fun reviewing it. The color schemes were fun. We do have the additional one here, which is more of like a um, purplish blue gradient with a um, really bright pink fur, I guess you would call it. But regardless, overall, pretty fun to review here. Pretty fun.